Good day. I'm Okwemi Karejai and I'm taking you through what's news today. Don't forget to subscribe to Business Day News at www.businessday.net. The rules of engagement for armies allow the use of lethal force only as a means of last resort. On October 20, 2020, the Nigerian army opened fire on peaceful protesters sitting in front of the Lekki Toll Gate, killing scores of young people in violation of military rule and norms of decency. The rules of engagement also states that after the shooting has ceased, medical assistance must be rendered. On that day, the Nigerian army packed the dead and dying into their trucks, picked up bullet casings of discharged cartridges, and scrubbed the scene of the shooting to hide the evidence of their crimes. These were some of the chilling events uncovered by the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry into the massacre that occurred on October 20, 2020 in Lagos, led by Doris Okuobi, a retired High Court judge. The Guild of Public Affairs Analysts of Nigeria, GPAN, has urged relevant authorities to punish all those involved in the events of the 20th October 2020 in accordance with the provisions of the law. In a statement signed by Achike Chude, spokesman of GPAN, the group listed a five-point recommendation saying that all those involved in the sordid and criminal events of 20th October 2020 should be punished in accordance with the provisions of the law. This would include the army, police, government personnel, as well as personnel of the Lekki Concession Company. Corporate sanctions, if possible, should also be considered. This should hopefully serve as a statement against impunity in our country. Oil prices dropped on Wednesday after U.S. petrol stocks fell more than expected last week which could heighten pressure on Biden's administration to release oil from emergency reserves to cap soaring petrol prices. U.S. West Texas immediate crude futures fell by some six cents to $80 a barrel at 2.11 a.m., extending a 12 cents loss from Tuesday. Brent's crude futures fell by some two cents from its $2.71, erasing a 38 cents gain from Tuesday. The number of Nigerian students seeking admission in U.S. investors did by 6.5% in 2020-2021, the lowest in three years, a business day analysis of new admission data shows. According to the Open Door Report, published by Washington Institute of International Education, the enrollment rate from Nigeria declined to 12,860 in the 2020-2021 academic year from 13,762 in 2019-2020 academic year. Analysts attribute the decline to foreign exchange scarcity and difficulty in sourcing foreign exchange, thus making tuition fees expensive. For more information, go to www.businessday.ng.